We're back. We are yep. back. I don't have my controller plugged in, son of a bitch. Uh, I always professional forget. start? Yeah, always. Nothing but the most professional. Hey, want to see if my controller feels like working this time? XSplit update or er, Citra updated again, so we'll see. Ooh, maybe it fixed itself. Ooh. Uh, or maybe it broke even further. It's like, oh, yeah, well, it support's was, completely gone now. Whatever the update you had before the update that you had before. No, that, that works. That sounded really weird. <laughs> I think. I think that works. All right. Yeah, it worked. Okay. There you go. Why can't I load a new game? Many games let you do that. You fall out. Wakey, wakey, two hundred one. Got some more questions. <laughs> they escaped. Sound the alarm! Prisoner two hundred one's escaped. Well, you know, with Dad's back on the streets, things will be on the up and up for us. Keep your voice down. You want that rebel hunter to find us or something? Come on, we're small fries compared to. Huh? <gasps> Here we are, it's Maya, you know, our murderer. Yep, I love how fast this shit is. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is a dual homicide, by the way? That'd be... That would be that the that's... first time in the... No, second time. Uh, yeah, it's like, I don't think trial it's the one. first. Or, game one, trial five. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if that is the first, but I just think that's a really uncommon thing. Oh, it's stupid uncommon. They never kill, like, more than one person. May 9th, 3.30 p.m. Temple Temple. Ugh, another fine day in the Kingdom of Karain. So peaceful here. I can't believe it's been two weeks already, but... This place is really starting to grow on me. Still... I think that's the first time pain has ever been referenced in the trial after the first one. Actually, that's that's not true. Uh, in the third game, pain appears in a trial briefly before you kick him out of the courtroom to do a different trial. That's more important. Sure was a rough start. Now to do what I came here to do. To see Maya. A long ascetic training is finally coming to an end. But before it does, she said something about becoming a murder, uh, suspect. And so one last rite she has to perform today. It could either be Maya or Albie. I don't know. It's 100% Albie. Okay, gotcha. Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Yeah, it's Albie. Happy Riki! I don't hey, Albie. Happy Paraki. Oh, you've mastered the traditional greeting of Karain. I don't know about that, but I guess all the practicing is paying off. Have you gotten used to life at the temple? Well, I'm grateful they're letting me stay here, but the morning start is a little too early for me. <laughs> yes, well, morning prayers do begin at dawn. After all, you can never pray too much. Daily devotion is very important in here in Karain. That's off to you guys. I don't know how you do it. And today's a special day, full of even more prayer than usual. There's nothing better in this world than being able to pray to your heart's content. I can think of a few things I'd rather do. So, what makes today so special anyway? You mean you don't know? Today's the purification rite. It's only performed once a year. That's what Maya must have been talking about on the phone yesterday. I wonder what a role in it is. Murder suspect. So what exactly is Maya going to be doing at this purification rite? What? She didn't tell you? She's playing the role of War Lady Kira. It's only the most important part of the entire right. Domine Kira. It's unprecedented to have a foreigner play such a key role. Well, that's really something. It really is. Helping out such an amazing person has been the greatest honor of this humble tour guide's life. So who is this Lady Kira you mentioned? Let me to explain. explain. Let me explain. Once upon a time, hundreds upon hundreds of years ago, 
You're going to female warrior who fought valiantly to establish. Okay. Let me stop you right there. <laughs> Is something wrong? No, it's just. I get the feeling I'm in for a really long story. Yeah, I'd say it normally takes around two hours to tell. Oh, I dodged a bullet there. Oh, right, you're supposed to finally see Miss Maya today. Story can wait then. In the meantime, you can read up on the right with this. An English guidebook? Where'd you dig this up from? I found it just lying there in the temple library. Figured no one's using it, so I borrowed it. It's very convenient that they have all these books uh, in English when every single person in the country also knows how to speak English, but <laughs> only wants to read in Koreanese. It, hmm. Yeah, that's right. Hey, It's in California, too. Yeah, it's also in California. Don't you remember those nice, sweet fucking... <laughs> the mountain in the back? Yeah, Mount, Mount Everest in California. The, the fucking mountain in fucking California. I know there are, like, mountain <laughs> ranges, but, like... Nearby. Well, you might be able to see a mountain at a distance, because, I mean, yeah. you get, like, the middle America, oh. like, those gigantic mountains. You might be able to just see them, right? Yeah. But, like... Hmm. Hey, this book belongs to Maya, see? That's her name on the back. Guess there's no harm in keeping this for a while, then. Neat. Eh, that'll be important later. Miss Maya should already be at the site where the rite is gonna take place. Oh, okay, that tells you why it's gonna be important right there. It's a fucking map. Yeah. Purification rite is a three-part ceremony when the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pani Pani, which I guess is that mountain in the background. It begins with the transformation rite. The high priest reads scripture while a priestess does the robes of a lady Kira. Dons the robes. Which has been purified with incense. Next, in the rite of water, in which the priestess enters the spring dressed as Lady Kira, and the high priestess pur purifies both Lady Kira and her dagger. The ceremony ends with the rite of fire, in which the priestess encircles the sacred flame to purify her soul. Two then devote themselves to prayer until the rite comes to a close two days later at noontun. So basically, the whole thing's a fancy way for Lady Kira to take a bath once a year. It must be nice for her, huh? I haven't what taken a, weird... a bath in 500 years. What a weird way to end the guidebook. Oh, that, that is Maya making a note. Okay. 100%. <laughs> Let's get out to the Plaza of Devotion. I wonder if Maya's matured any since I last saw her. It's on a mountaintop, so it might get a little cold, though. I think I can handle it. Hmm. I can examine shit. I should offer a prayer now and then since they're letting me stay here. Hmm, let's see. May there be a slightly softer futon tonight. And may tomorrow's breakfast be a little bigger. Wow, I'm impressed by your prayerful heart. Prayer is at the heart of Koreanism, after all. May the Holy Mother's blessings be upon you. Oh, uh, thanks. Now I feel kind of bad. Yeah, you should have been praying that Maya isn't about to get fucking accused of murder in ten seconds. What are those buildings over there? Those are training halls. Monks continuously undergo rigorous training there, day in, day out. You could try it out for a day if you'd like. They do really interesting stuff, like meditating while standing on their heads. That's really okay, Albie. Thanks. Uh, Nothing seems to say to be about the, the most of it. <laughs> oh, the path. This is a really gorgeous spring. You have an excellent eye for beauty, sir. This is the Guiding Waters, the centerpiece of our temple tour. It's a sacred pathway for people's mitama, so don't ever wade into it. Why? Well, what happened if I did? I... I don't think I should even be talking about this. Just don't go in, don't... I don't know, just don't go into it. Oh, well, it's the worst that could happen. But we're okay for now, right? As long as we stay out of the water? I like I... how the dog has a mitama on its fur. Or Magatama? Or is that a Mita? I don't know. It's one or the other. I don't know that I can see that with the picture quality. The what? Whenever you whenever you share a screen, it's like in like 480p. It's not quite as crisp. I oh, think I can dog. see the shape of it, but it's not as clear. Yeah, yeah it's hard to see. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful badge! It's the attorney's badge we use in my country. It kind of looks like a sunflower to me. Yep, and I'm pretty sure there's even a reason for it. Please do explain, Mr. Wright. Uh, maybe next time. I should have known he asked me to explain. Uh, that's ah, well, a here's my badge again. 
I don't care if you want to call it a sunflower or whatever, it's a chroma. Is this some sort of new tourist souvenir? You handed it to me. You know what it is. <laughs> Sorry, but no. Oh. Sorry to be such a disappointment. <clears throat> I think the reason why it's shaped like a sunflower is just like it's a natural Japanese thing. It's the fucking land of the sun. But... There have been a lot more tourists this year than last. It's funny because the anime makes a very big deal out of sunflowers like the intro the ender uh the fact that it looks like a sunflower games not so much they barely mention it yeah i mean i because they don't mention it i always just thought it looked like a fucking cronut so i just call it a cronut the new tour guide business must be booming it is but i have more important things to do right now namely helping you mr right i think i'll take a little extra for yourself later Phoenix can tip extra? Where'd you get all this money from, Phoenix? You got foreclosed. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, we got Charlie back. It's fine. Is that where the purification rite will be held? Sort of right, is it? Um, we'd wind up missing a whole day of the rite if I were to explain it. In that case, I think I'll just go see it for myself. Alright, all Ben. May 9th. Plaza of Devotion. I want to climb those stairs. That looks fun. There's... So those cool. stairs? There's three, it's three fucking steps. Oh, no. Behind the door. Oh, those... Okay. I was, like, going, the fuck? There's three steps. How is it that exciting? No. It's like here itself is made of ice. Look at all these people. Well, this is the day we come to offer prayers to Lady Kira, the pictor of our land. Hmm. <clears throat> it's amazing to see how devoted everyone is. Devoted, right. But couldn't they just as easily do this all praying somewhere nicer, or warmer, somewhere warmer? Fuck. No, fuck you. It's tradition. This, too, is part of our religious training. It helps us build our strength of spirit and willpower. Further up, at the end of these stairs, is the Inner Sanctum. Please, no more Inner Sanctums. <laughs> hey. That's where all that's where all the shit goes down, you know. <laughs> the inner sanctum. <laughs> or my that's gonna be convicted in a second. I see. Everyone I've met so far seems deeply religious. Of course we are. After all, Karain is also called the land of prayer. It's said that we Karainese people spend on average fifteen hours a day in prayer. Fuck that. <laughs> what fifteen? What do you do? One hour a day of doing shit if you get eight hours of sleep? You sh From the moment we wake to the moment we fall asleep, our hearts are always in prayer. You see all the square flags around here? They're known as prayer flags. They contain the prayers of our people. Oh, he's talking about these colorful strips of cloth. There's something written on each one. Such piety is the glory of our people, and- uh, I'm afraid that story's gonna have to wait for another time, Albie. Maya should be here any minute now. Oh yeah, you're right. I can't wait to see Miss Maya again. Pardon me. Arr. Oh, noble tri- Yeah, I'll just give you a line so you actually have a character to talk. How do you fare, Mr. Wright? It's been many a day. Maya's voice is weird. Uh, and, uh, who might you be? M Maya? <laughs> Boop. Yeah, I figured that might be Maya. Miss Maya! Haparaiki! Haparaiki! Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I was still in fucking Albie mode. <laughs> she blew it up. Haparaiki, Albie? Yeah, she's, uh, she's a woman now. Yeah. And you, Mr. Wright, may the Holy Mother guide you on your journey. She's still probably 100% a goon. Oh, um, thanks. Yeah, she's probably a goober. It's fine. <laughs> Long time no see, Nick. Well, well, did I surprise you with my act? Yeah, you can say that again. This is Maya Faye. She's a spirit medium from Korean Village back home. She was also my assistant for quite some time. 
But that was many years ago. Her ability to channel spirits saved me more times than I can count. And also, she got herself into more murder charges than she can remember. I sure miss those days. You know, where I was convicted again and again. It was a ton of fun being the real boss of Renko offices. Now she's here training to be the leader of Crane Village and the master of her craft. Apparently to become the master of the Crane channeling technique. You have to train here in Crane since this is where the technique originated. Didn't I sound just like a pious nun when you saw me just now? Too bad that's all about all I learned from the training I did. She's probably done nothing for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Maya. Huh? And what's that supposed to mean? She may look a little more mature on the outside, but inside she's the same old Maya. I'm actually kind of glad for that. 28 years old. I guess I would make her the exact same age as, uh... What's her name? Uh... Ina. Emma. Heard what happened, Nick? You ended up in court almost as soon as you got off the plane, huh? Yeah, well, it's kind of a long story. I was the accused! But you should have seen Mr. Wright in action! He was amazing! <laughs> hmm. I bet it was another one of your famous seat of your pants come from behind wins, huh? Does he ever not have those? Oh, well. I was almost found guilty any number of times. Okay, so it wasn't my finest hour, so sue me. You haven't changed a bit either, Nick. No, it definitely stings more when it's coming from her. So I guess you finished the bulk of your training needing to become the master, right? Oh, you mean the special meditation course for increasing spiritual power? Yep! I've completed the full two years. I can finally go home once I perform the purification right today. Actually, I was wondering why they're having a foreigner conduct one of these sacred rites. Well, the High Priest's wife usually conducts it each year. But with her baby on the way, it's just more than she could handle. So the High Priest <clears throat> practically begged me to stand in, stand in for her this year. Well, you may not know all of their customs, but with your training, I'm sure you'd do great. You bet. Just watch, Nick. I'm going to be the best Lady Kira, guardian deity ever. Hey, better throw in a few pairs of things not ending up in a flaming disaster, then. So about that guardian deity you'll be portraying today, what exactly are we talking about here? Well, first of all, Lady Kira isn't really a deity in the way that we think of them back at home. For a second, I thought it was going to be the Steel Samurai theme. I was going to be like, okay. <laughs> also, here's our reasoning behind why she's the suspect. Oh, 100%. <laughs> She's a real person who fought to establish the King of Karain a long, long time ago. Wow, so she actually existed. And now the Kingdom's people worship her as a guardian deity. They believe she appears to protect the Kingdom whenever it is in danger. Cloaked in a sacred robe, she's a champion justice who defeats the Kingdom's enemies. That sounds like something you'd be into. I know, right? Who wouldn't want to be a kick-butt warrior who takes on evil with a wicked dagger? Right. Whatever floats your boat. Still, Nidakira must be a really popular deity if all these people are here just for her. Yep. But there's more to it than just her popularity this year. There's more? Today, we're gonna actually kill someone! So what's this right, uh, attracting such a large crowd this year? Also... Absolutely fucking wild guess. Uh, the fucking village elder, whoever the fuck he was, um, straight up begged Maya to do this. Uh, he did it. <laughs> he wanted her to wear the costume if she's. What, dressed if, it up was, as what it. if it was the pregnant it's, wife? It could have been the pregnant wife. I'm just saying it's somebody from that fucking household and he's covering by oh, making totally. Maya dress up as this. That's what this is. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Let me explain. Mysterious figure clad in Lady Kira's robes appeared, just like in the legends. And she began capturing members of the Defiant Dragons, left and right. You're kidding, right? They say it's only a matter of time till she gets their leader, the revolutionary Dirk, too. Dirk the Daring, huh? So Lady Kira's a rebel hunter now, eh? It's a bit hard to swallow, though. I mean, even if they are trying to disrupt the peace. 
I doubt the actions of a band of rebels can bring a legendary figure back to life. I didn't believe it at first either. But there's a real picture of her on the front page of today's newspaper. Sightings of her go back about two years. But this is the first actual picture of her to ever be taken. Can't believe someone was actually able to capture her on film. And it all lines up. Two years ago, they started doing it. Anyway. <laughs> but couldn't this just be some Lady Kira fan? You know, like you? It really that. could be. This costume is, like, not that intense. It's a mask with a robe. Anybody could make that. Probably. Not anybody, but, like, somebody who's good at making shit. I don't know. You mean like a cosplayer? Those rebels are no joke, Nick. They're trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat and stuff. You think some regular cosplayer could take on people like that dressed in a costume? Alone? That's why she has to be the real deal. It gives me chills just thinking about it. I bet Lady Kira's spirit possessed the sacred robe or something. A spirit possessing a piece of clothing. Um, maybe you should cut back on all the action superhero shows, Maya. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You're just jealous that I'm still young at heart. I've got a real office to run. No, so I've got to keep it real, right? I don't know who you're talking about, but that's definitely not me. <sighs> You've really lost your edge since I last saw you. Those spikes of yours are really have grown really dull. And there's even one that's drooping. Oh no, Phoenix is getting oh. old. Can we leave my hair out of this? His hair just stopped working. <laughs> anyway, I swear that Lady Kira's people have been spotting it. Yeah, the Lady Kira's been spotting it. This is the real deal. But Dyslexia. Not really. But, yeah. Besides, it's just so much more fun to believe it's true, you know? I can't believe you really buy all that. Although, I wonder who's under that robe. Newspaper. Okay. All right. But Mr. Wright, she's the talk of the town. She gave me this great v new food idea. Yeah, shut up, Albie. I'm reading the newspaper. Lady Kira returns mm -hmm. to the Battle Rebels. The Lady Kira-like figure that appears two years ago remains a mystery. Some town elder sears Lady Kira in the flesh. Some rumors are feeling the enthusiasm for today's purification rite. Speaking of the rite, the thick white ice that froze the ground from the inner sanctum to the Plaza Devotion until yesterday has melted. The rite can now go as planned. You get thanks to the blessing of the Holy Mother. This might be a thing. Uh, well, the inner temple's uh, frozen. Oh, what he thought. And nobody could have gotten to it. It was frozen. Yada, yada, whoop de doo Police are That's... asking the kingdom subjects to be on the lookout for a male insurgent who escaped from World Penitentiary number four yesterday. I mean, that could also be something to do with it, but that might just be the red herring. Gonna be like a soul bun, but based on Lady Kira, I'm calling it the Kira bun. You're creative. Talk about a Kira business strategy. What's the joke? Talk about a Kira... Kira business... What? It's that... The, what's the joke? What? Keen? I don't know. Killer, maybe. Kira. Oh, that's Kira. exactly what it is. It's a... I think it is Kira, because Kira in Japanese is fucking killer. Oh, and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is a joke that did not translate well in localization, is what this is. Phoenix sure said, uh, <laughs> yeah, talk about a shit business strategy. That would have translated over here well. <laughs> Come on, Maya. Just admit you're running around dressed as Lady Kira already. <laughs> I guess the jig is up. What? Is it really true, Miss Maya? Indeed, it is I, Lady Kira. After hundreds of years, I return this lovely young lady's body. What? Off the cliff. Oh, that dog's dead. <laughs> that dog's fucked. <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk. Only a min... Only a minion of the Defiant Dragons could see through my disguise. Now, feel my wrath, foul lawyer. Yeah! Ow! Mr. Wright! Mr. Wright! <laughs> He's on, falling off the cliff. Boop, boop. Just kidding. I mean, come on. That was enough of a confession for me. Come on, boys, let's get her. Look at look at all these people in the background that are gonna fucking testify. She just she's Lady Kira. Yeah, well, she uh. said just kidding. 
Hmm. I may be dressing up as Lady Kira for the right today. But there's no way I could ever beat up one of those rebel types. I don't know. That was a pretty solid left hook she just threw. Oh, you were just trying to be funny. You really had me go in there for a second. No one could be that naive, right? I'll be good. When you spend 15 hours a day praying, you, you know, it's a plenty of time to, you know. Well, I hope you enjoy playing superhero at the right today. Ooh, when you put it that way, I'm even more hyped about it now than I was already. Boop. Jangle, jangle. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, I hear the sound of the high priest's footsteps. I'd better get going. His footsteps. During the rite, he wears these really big bells on his ankles that'll come up. That way, I know he's coming. Pretty handy, right? Well, see you later. I doubt they're actually meant to be a stop slacking warning system for you, Maya. Miss Maya is always so bright and cheerful. Yeah, I'm glad that she still hasn't changed. As in, at all. I wonder if this means her training has been off or not. I hope not. Ah, it's Acolyte Zealot! Oh, boy. oh come off it. <laughs> He's a zealot. Acolyte Zealot. <laughs> come on. Acolyte Zealot. Nice ass. There he is. It's Aang. Look, right there, Aang. <laughs> it is Aang. Look. <laughs> Look, he's the one praying in the red and saffron robe. He's a disciple of the high priest, Abbot, in me. Okay. What the fuck is his first name gonna be? Uh, we can only see. He lives and trains at his house. <laughs> Imagine if it was like Dickard or something like that. <laughs> yeah, you know, he prays in the cold without moving a muscle. Yeah, I could never do that. Well, I mean, he's the fucking. He's a fucking avatar. He can do anything. Ah, it's Abbot in me. The purification rite is about to begin. I can't wait to know his first know. name. And got a little bit cold and he turned into a block of ice. Just, that was a little cold, you know. So that's the sacred robe Maya will be wearing during the rite. It looks almost exactly like what the figures in the newspaper photo were wearing. However, it must have worked really hard to copy it. However it is. Please, sir, it's not a good idea to stare like that. You could be struck blind. Just give me a few more seconds. I mean, this isn't something you see every day. All those bells on High Priest's ankles. They're a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. Nice, uh, nice zoom in on the feet there, Phoenix. Well, we gotta get a good look. Mr. Wright, it's time to enter the prayer pose like everyone else. Those who don't will suffer the wrath of the Holy Mother. Okay, let's see. First, I kneel down and cross my ankles. Then I bow forward. Ouch. And this way, I can't see the murder that's about to happen. That's right. Great. Now all I can see is the ground and my back is killing me. You really should have trained for this, sir. Oh, wait a sec. How long are we supposed to stay like this, Albie? The right requires that we stay like this until the day after tomorrow. Fuck that. That's two whole days. I don't feel so... Don't worry, you won't have to stay long. Mr. Right, are you okay, sir? Somebody help! Oh my god, it's Phoenix. He's the victim. Right dies from fucking back injury. <laughs> I, I can't like... wait for us to go to the hospital, and yet somehow we still wind up getting the hottie clinic, and we, we find Mr. Like, Scratch's face, man. No matter where you get hurt or injured in the Phoenix Wright universe, you will always have that creepy OB, your doctor. It never That's fails. absolutely correctly. He has fucking traveled. He had just had, He's on vacation at Korean Village right now. Yeah, he, he already he could actually get his doctorate here. Despite the fact that he's fucking insane. Mr. Right. Miss Right. Mr. Right, please. You have to get up. Uh, ouch. My aching. 
Hmm. I'll be. Where are we? How did he pass out from breaking his back? What the fuck? Uh, if you've never fucking, like, pulled a, like, slipped a disc in your back, it fucking hurts. You could okay. pass out from pain. But he, he wasn't even a hard position. It was literally just like... Uh, oh, yeah, that's an easy position, but he's also old. <laughs> he's not that old. He's like, what, 30-something? I can't actually check. He's like 30-something. I actually don't remember. I feel like he's, like, just about 40, but not quite. Even when I killed my own muscles just doing fucking push-ups and sit-ups because I'm fucking out of shape as shit, I didn't feel like I was going to pass out. Well, yeah, but slipping a disc hurts. I've done it multiple times. It's painful. Do you pass out? I don't pass out, but I'm not older. It's going to hurt more as I get older. Yeah, I guess that's fair. <coughs> guess I passed out from that back pain. It must have carried me all the way here. Something terrible's happened. It's Miss Maya. She's... she's... Oh, she just followed me to Plaza of Devotion. Yeah, alright. Something must have happened while I was passed out. Miss Maya, she's been arrested! Who could have seen this coming? What? You don't sound very, like, surprised, Mr. Wright. Oh, sorry, it's just another Tuesday. How many times has it actually been? I know we meme, but all right. Second trial of the first game. Uh, fourth trial of the second game, she was kidnapped. Fifth trial of the third game, briefly. And then now this one. So technically not, only three times. It's not that bad, but it's really just... It's more than anyone else by far. Yeah. And I mean, if you thought that Maya being randomly brought back into... Not randomly, but just being brought back into the plot wasn't going to lead to this, like... Uh, well... Where's Maya? Just take it easy, alright? But, but I'm telling you, I haven't done anything wrong! Huh, you're going to talk all you want back at the station. Let me go. Maya. Nick, I didn't kill him. I swear I didn't. Quiet, you. Come along peacefully or suffer the consequences. Wait a second. Hold on. What on earth is going on? I don't know who you are, but if you don't get out of my way... Hey, back off, officer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a voice hey, hey, you. What the fuck are you well, doing here? Quite a voice on you. I had no idea who it could be. Why? Why would she even be here? Emma, Emma Sky, what is she doing in Karain? I put on my manly voice in order to scare you away. I'm so sorry, Mr. Wright, but we're placing Maya under arrest. All right, take her down to the station, but with respect. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Nick. So fancy seeing you here, Emma. How, how was the plane ride? <laughs> what the fuck? Why, why are you? Where do you have jurisdiction here? What? What the fuck is happening? So what are you doing in Karain, Emma? <laughs> just asking casually. Fuck. He really is. And this one is just like, hey, so what are you doing here? <laughs> just, like, yeah, Don't point, worry, Mai. Just... We'll we'll be through this in like uh, four days tops. See you later. What's All right. Up? Hey, Let's so have a what are you doing in Karain, Emma? <laughs> Who cares about Maya at this point? It's a long story. Anyway, what are you doing in Karain, Mr. Wright? Well, same here. It's a long story. Uh, but we can get caught up later. Right now, I need to know what happened. Maya's, well, under arrest for the murder of the High Priest. Ah, well, there goes your theory. Tis, tis. Well, I don't even know about that. Who? Oh, well, I... Yeah, the high priest's wife. Okay, it couldn't have been the high priest that killed himself unless it was him that killed himself, which could happen, but it's silly. Um, his wife could have done it, though. Fuck we it, I don't know. We have never once had a suicide in any of the games. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. It's not impossible. It would actually be kind of interesting. That's why I was so surprised in Danganronpa 1 where they already did the suicide pretty damn fast. Yeah. Wait, the high priest was murdered? What happened, Emma? Please, tell me everything you can. 
Well, basically, there was a murder during the rite as it was being performed last night. The victim is Turastin me. The high priest who is presiding over the right. I'd rather call him a dick in me. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, but we, we already had in me over there, like sitting down, like Ang. So I guess they're related. Maybe. We don't have the profile for him yet. We'll probably yeah. see him later. For, this guy, at the very least, is Tarastin me. Wait, what the fuck? Why did Emma drop an age? She was 28. What happened? She, she... So, was this before? That's really confusing. Why did it... But oh, he... it's my had birthday Wright... today, right, Mr. Wright? Had, had Wright even met Maya when we phone called? With Apollo? I don't know if that was brought up, I guess. My question is, has Emma ever even met Maya? I am not sure she... Maybe in Trial... Five, the first game. Maya's just all. No, always she was around. missing from that trial. That was the whole point. Hmm. That was a big point of it, anyway. She didn't return until uh, trial two of the second game. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh wait! Oh, trial like... two of the second game. She was also charged with murder. <laughs> God damn yeah, of course. It. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I, about I was that. like, I, I was Never like, there's mind, gotta be. Um, em Emily was probably like, "Come on, you idiots! You forgot about that part." Thank you. Well, I don't fucking know. I haven't played these games in a very, very long time. I haven't um, played uh, Justice for All since college, uh, like community college. I I probably haven't played that since like fucking middle school <laughs> or something. <laughs> Because it was, like, coming out around then. Yeah. You know? Wait, hold on. Last night. You mean to tell me an entire day's passed since the purification, right? That's right, sir. You passed out a whole day from your back pain. All right, that's oh, a that's excessive. Funny. I never knew my back was like a ticking time bomb. I better take care of it. The murder took place at the inner sanctum where the right was being held. Inner Sanctum. It's the place where the spirit of Lady Cure is enshrined. It's through that gate over there and up to the top of the mountain stairs just beyond. What if it's actually Lady Kira? And I like to find that out somehow. That would be silly. Wouldn't be the first That'd time be... it was a spiritual, yeah. like, fucking ghost. It, it's happened before. It's dumb sometimes. It's a little weird when it happens. Oh, so that's why everyone's offering their prayers in that direction. Abbott in me and Miss Maya went up to the inner sanctum to begin the rite. Just after they finished the prayer, you fainted in the middle of. So who do you think killed the high priest? Unfortunately, Maya's our sole suspect right now. During the rite, the inner sanctum was off limits to the general public. So then only the high priest and Maya could have been up there when the murder occurred? Right. Plus, the inner sanctum was on the side of a very steep mountain. The only way up there is the stairway that starts here at the Plaza of Devotion. So that's why she's being arrested. And the fact that the stairs were icy or whatever the fuck means if somebody was up there. Like, nobody could have gone up there beforehand, unless they went up there well beforehand. They were so hiding in up. the inner sanctum beforehand, yeah. Yeah. She's the one who told the worshippers in the plaza that the high priest was dead. I love that the police came and arrested Maya while all these people are still fucking, like, posed in the ground and they haven't moved a muscle. I also like that we're doing a fucking self-report here situation because Maya is literally the one that informed him, hey, the high priest is dead. Just, you know, somebody killed him. They're like, must have been you. I don't think she did. I think she just left and then like, where is he? And she's like, oh, I don't know. I guess he's up there. Well, that's what Emma's saying right now is that mm. Maya just came down and told them. Ah. Like, it's not like people don't do that. People do self-report murders yeah. in real life. It happens. Yeah. Um, but. And she made a police statement to that effect. So she was the first one to discover the body. Well, that definitely doesn't help. That makes it even less likely that someone else is there at the crime scene. Mr. Wright, sir, are you going to defend Miss Maya? Yes, of course. 
There's no way she killed anyone. Yeah, I don't believe it either. She's been framed. But this <clears throat> is really something else, huh, Mr. Wright? I mean, who'd have thought you'd have to take on that horrible court again? Remember me, I'm the other judge. <laughs> I'm the bitch that predicts the future, or whatever the fuck. No, she about it. I never thought past. I'd have to go through another trial. But the divination seance determines all, and defense lawyers are unwelcome. <laughs> hey, Emma, by the way, I'm going to fucking die. Thanks for getting her arrested, asshole. So what brings you here, Emma? Back in the U.S., I was working I a case with an international prosecutor from Korea. Yeah, he's back. Definitely, he's followed us here. He told me that this is where I could see the latest techniques in international forensic science. I can't believe I fell for it. I mean, just look at this place. It's like we ran back in time. Yeah, I can say I, I can't say I've been impressed with the police work I've seen so far. Still, he said he takes on cases from around the world. So maybe next time I'll have one in a major city somewhere. Sounds like the prosecutor has taken a liking to you, Emma. After all, it's not every day a prosecutor takes a detective with them overseas. Edgeworth, come true. Hmm, yeah, it happens. But they have to really trust their uh, detective. If Blackwell traveled, if he was allowed to, you know, he wasn't. Prison, he'd he'd uh, love to take. Uh... Yeah, I'm sure he'd love to take uh, Fulbright with him. Yeah, Fulbright's <laughs> such a trustworthy guy. Yeah, absolutely. He's all about justice. Absolutely. <laughs> anyway. I wonder, he's calm and kind, and almost always has a smile on his face. It's hard to tell who what he's really thinking. This international prosecutor, is he the one who handled Trusty's case? Okay, so this means this is after that case. I'm confused. <laughs> so Emma just aged backwards? Maybe I just remembered wrong. I don't I could have sworn it said she was twenty-eight in the previous game. Emily, can I, you I, go I, back I and check for us? I wasn't paying that much attention, so granted. Yeah, take it, he'll be the prosecutor in this one, too. Yes, <coughs> prosecutor's sand machine's already been assigned. Prosecutor's sand machine? Polkunka! You already know him, Albi? Of course, everyone in Korean does. He's never lost a case. He's a highly reared individual, as both a prosecutor and a monk. If you go up against prosecutor sand machine, you'll incur the Holy Mother's wrath. Yeah, but it's my job, too, as a lawyer. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. Just great. The prosecutor is also a revered monk in a deeply religious country. This trial is shaving up to be even more uniquely Kuranese than the last one. Hey, you thought the other one was bullshit. You think that they fucking took Payne's word for it. If, if a fucking monk says something happened, they're just gonna be like... Dude, Sam Machine is gonna make up all kinds of horse shit, and we'll be like, alright, yeah, sure, whatever. He, yeah, the thing is, is that he can... All his fucking bullshit that he was doing in the court, in, like, the other place, it was bullshit, and it didn't work, really. It'll work here. Because <laughs> people trust him. Blindly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure I should be saying this, but he's a formidable opponent. Yeah, I heard Paul had a really tough time, so I better give it everything I've got. He had a really, really tough time work. trying not to, like, stab himself from, like, pure cringe at watching Saad and Mahdi do whatever the hell he was trying to do. There's just a lot of hand movements and gibberish. Anyway, I'm glad you're here, Emma. They treat lures like criminals here. Come to think of it, Prosecutor Sam Machine mentioned something to that effect. I'm not sure how much I can help, but I'll do what I can. Really? Are you sure you aren't going to get in trouble for helping the enemy? Yeah, she's gonna die too. It did come down to me pretty, down to me pretty hard when I tried to help Trucy in that last trial. Let's just say I'll help where I can. Thanks, but don't go getting yourself into trouble on my account, okay? Prosecutor Sam Machine sounds pretty strict. So first things first, let's start with this. Hot off the press, it's a high priest autopsy report. We'll see that updated later. Yeah, absolutely. This it's really only updated. been updated like once or yeah, twice. Yeah, I know. It's not common, but it's very much fun to make fun of the fact that they hide the real one from you. <laughs> Cause uh... of death, little loss from a deep abdominal wound caused by a bladed weapon. What a surprise. The wound appears to have been inflicted by the war, war bod dagger. 
I right. mean, all right. That's all in order. That's exactly what you'd expect. Yeah. The murder weapons bleed for Lady Kira's warbond dagger. It's used during the rite. However, the dagger is yet to be found. Hey, the Kira's dagger, huh? I think Maya mentioned something about a dagger. Who wouldn't want to be a kick-butt warrior who takes on evil with a wicked dagger? Yeah, right. Whatever floats your boat, Maya. Hmm. Isn't that rebel hunter posing as Lady Kira also armed with a dagger? Of course, he must have a replica. Or he must be a replica. Hers must be a replica. Fuck. Am I, am I crazy? In the animated version of that, wasn't the dagger, like, curved? That was a very straight dagger in the newspaper. You wouldn't be able to see it now, because, like, the animated one is what I'm talking about. I swear to God, in the animated one, he had a curved dagger. <clears throat> she did, whatever. It might be something, like, where there's two different knives. There might be one that's curved and one that's straight. Maybe. I'm probably remembering wrong. I may be crazy, but... Would it be okay for me to go take a look at the crime scene, Emma? The police have already wrapped up their investigation, but the local location itself is off-limits to the general public, so I'm not sure. Emma, please, I'm begging you. Just like the police, I need access if I'm to mount a viable defense. All right, then. Leave it to me. I'll get in trouble. I'll explain the situation to Prosecutor Sam Machine and the, office and the police later. Thanks, Emma. You have quite a climb ahead of you, so be sure to watch your step. Wait, you're not coming with me? Oh no! I'm not climbing up there again! No way! Is it really that bad? I wonder if my back can handle it. You get to go to the Inner Sanctum? Oh, you're so lucky, Mr. Wright! Why'd you join me, Albie? Th th that's crazy talk, sir. If a commoner like myself were to set foot in there, I'd surely be cursed for all eternity. Well, because the Inner Sanctum is off limits for you, too, huh? Oh well. Guess I'll just have to face this all by my lonesome. By the way, what about all these people still praying here? Aren't they gonna, you know, go home? The custom of this right require that they not move from this spot until tomorrow's afternoon. It doesn't faze them to have a police milling about. Some of them even off-duty cops. I can't wait for, like, just, like, the chorus of people urinating themselves from standing here for fucking 48 hours. Well, it's... Notice how the staircase is curved slightly downwards, such that if they piss, it all falls down the mountain. Okay, but what if cool. one of them has to take a shit? It's just kind of like, you know... <laughs> uh, well, that's what the piss is for. You see, when they piss, it creates a stream, and it picks up the shit and brings it off, too. <laughs> that is a vile thought. <laughs> I guess this is what's up to live in a deep religious society, huh? Rivers of shit and piss. They just <laughs> float out of the fucking mountain. And you just... <laughs> We're children, it's okay, don't mind us. Congrats on your return to the legal world. I wanted to congratulate you sooner, but I never had the chance. Thanks, Emma. Congratulations to you, too, on becoming a forensic investigator. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I know. Let's celebrate by dusting your attorney's badge for fingerprints. Or how about we do a luminol test on it? Yeah, I think I'll pass on both, but thanks. It's been ages since you've invented evidence to me. Remember when we worked on that one case together that got retconned? I seem to recall a thin layer of fingerprints powder on every single piece of evidence then. Well, I guess they get that way from time to time now, too. As enthusiastic as ever, eh, I'm a... Okay, this is, yeah. This is her default. I don't know what to do with that. There you go. The victim's name was Tarasting Me. He bled to death from a stab wound in the abdomen. And the killer? At the moment, our only suspect is the person who was with the victim at the time. In other words, Maya. In other words, the only possible candidate. Look, you can see it. The piss and shit river. No. Nothing particularly interesting here. I don't want to look at that. It's Aang. Echolite no, Zealot's really Zealot. in the zone. Yeah, that guy's not in me. That's Zealot. Oh, you mean that monk who's been living at the victim's home? Yeah, he hasn't moved a muscle even though his teacher's been murdered. It was him. I guess he's so deep in prayer he's not aware of what's going on around him. Wow, even with the murder, all these people are still here praying. 
They're so into it. They wouldn't notice anything you did to them. You mean like taking their fingerprints? Huh? Oh, um, who would ever do something like that? Emma, you didn't. She has an addiction. Uh, and the only prescription. All of a sudden, these are called prayer law? What did you say, Phoenix? Prayer flags. Prayer flags. And the prayer written on them are carried around through the kingdom of the wind. Now, if I were to pray for something, it would be for me to not get dragged in any more trouble than I already have been. Too late, Phoenix. Too fucking late. <coughs> That's a befitting gate for the path of the inner sanctum. It's apparently considered a sacred object to the people of Karai. It wasn't even allowed to dust it for prints. So even applying a little fingerprint dust to it would be sacrilegious, huh? I guess so. But I applied some luminol on it instead when no one was looking. Sounds like an investigation invitation for the Holy Mother to strike it down later, Emma. They would probably <laughs> significantly rather the fingerprint dust than the luminol. <laughs> well, they should have just allowed her. <clears throat> Alright, I'll be back in a sec. You can move or whatever. Alright, let's go to the detention center first. May 10th, detention center. This place is pretty. Looks like Maya's still being questioned. I'll just have to come back again later. Why does that guard keep eyeballing me? Can't let him get to me. Can't let him get to me. Ah, he's doing it again. There's a bell here. I wonder if it's for calling the guard. Don't do that unless you need something, you lawyer. Sorry. I didn't even get to ask him anything. All right. To the inner sanctum. Away. I was the empty detention center. <laughs> it was pretty great. I rung a bell and I got a guard pissed off at me. Mm -hmm. May 10th, Inner Sanctum. Why even give you access to it if there's nobody there yet? <clears throat> ah, it's the girl who hates me. What is it? Is the body just fucking... Th no, that's the robe. Okay. <sighs> it's really high up and really, really cold. What did I do to deserve this? At least I made it. I better get started or I can still feel my fingers. Hmm? Who's that? Kinda looks like... That's right. No. Okay. Only her. Only you. Woo -woo. Um, excuse me. Ah, it's you. Do you even know where you are? Barbed head? Uh, no. I just walked up the stairs past an iron gate that the guards let me through, and I just wandered up here. Of course I do. May I ask why you're here, your benevolence? Whenever she does that, I expect her to go full. Like, uh, sand machine. <laughs> I expect you to, like, you know, summon a giant frog or something. <laughs> I came to pray for the High Priest's soul. But what are you doing here? This is one of the most sacred spots in Karaniza. <laughs> unscrupulous lawyers such as you have no business being here. Yeah, but I'm not unscrupulous. Quiet. You dared to find fault with my insights at every turn the other day. You're still sore about that trial. Yeah, I don't really care about you. I just want to look at the robe. Hmm? Why do you keep looking away? Yeah, I was thinking about investigating the crime scene. Well, you can do so later. You are speaking with me right now. As you wish, Princess. I guess the investigation will have to wait until she's done talking to me. Okay, I'll see you later. Not not talking to me, talking at me. <laughs> if I turn back now, I'll have to climb all the way back up here again later. Uh, guess I'll have to make Princess Rafa see things my way somehow. Well, you can enjoy attorney's badge. Hmm? What is that badge you bear? It's a sunflower pen. They're quite popular in my country. Hmm. It is rather cute, I must say. Actually, it's just my attorney's badge. Oh? So, 
So you mean it would actually have been worth more as a cheap accessory? My profession is worth more than a dollar twenty, you know. That is a book from your land, is it not? Yes, it's a guidebook about currying that was written by people back home. Oh, so there are people in your land who know of our fair kingdom. Then I imagine I must say something about imagine must say something about me in there, correct? Actually, yes, it says the dance of devotion is performed by an adorable little princess. How dare they write of me as if I were a child! Hey, I'm just reading what it says. Though she does seem secretly pleased. Yeah, Adon. down before your thought. I just always expect her to start. Ah, get that thing away from me! Alright, I'll just put it away then. Who told you to put it away? How am I to inspect it if you do that? Keep it out, put it away. I wish she'd make up her mind. What a dreadful way to die. Did you know the High Priest is your benevolence? Yes, he was a pious priest of Karenism. As such, he had the trust of the entire kingdom. Except when you looked into his eyes, because they're just black slits. I don't know why that is. Don't ask me. I can't even look at his profile. Or, no, I can. Well, he's got Brock face. It's fine. How do you know what he looks like, Phoenix? You've never seen him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The entire kingdom, really? Yes. But what do you know of faith and trust, you who can never hope to match his virtue? It is like comparing the moon to a pebble, or the sea to a puddle. How did this suddenly become a game of pin the diss on the lawyer? Alright. As you know, your benevolence, a murder has occurred and I need to investigate. But we know the killer is one of your own. In my country, suspects are innocent until proven guilty. Plus, she is a serious student of spirit channeling who came here to study. So can't you at least give her a chance to explain what happened? All practitioners from overseas are big, big, phony balonies. Way to take all the impact out of your statement by saying phony baloney. She tried to come up with something intelligent, but she's 14 years old, so, uh, you know, phony baloney. <laughs> I suppose. And her wish to train in the homeland of spirit channeling is but a bid for prestige. Uh, it seems like nothing I say will convince her otherwise, thanks to that last trial. Tweedledum and Tweedledee really did a number in her impressions of foreigners. I wonder if he's referring to fucking Payne and the other asshole, the guitarist loser. As a defense attorney on this case, I really need to investigate this crime scene, and I need to do it now. I've even been authorized by the police, so... What's this? You intend to make a mockery of our sacred hall of justice once more? Oh, I simply want to defend my client. Which means you have come to forge evidence, then. I knew all lawyers were criminals. I must now redouble my vigilance. Oh, geez, that's unfair. Who taught you to demonize a whole group of people, anyway? My mother and father. Do you have an issue with their parental guidance? No, I would never dare criticize a royal couple. Still can't imagine what the lawyers here must have done to garner such hatred. Hmm. Oh ho! <laughs> I just had the most wonderful idea, Barbed Head. What's that? Just boots him off the cliff and he dies. Why do I have a bad feeling about that? Glint in her eye. The most wonderful idea. So yeah, what's this most wonderful idea of yours? If you are to investigate this murder, then I shall oversee your every move, so as to prevent any misdeeds, naturally. What? You want to follow me around the entire time? Of course. Not that I want to, mind you. And I will not tolerate any objections. Understood? She can't do this to me. Looks like this is our fucking defense help. That's gonna Yay. be with us on the bench, Rafa. Enjoy. I would have preferred Albi, I'll be honest. <laughs> what was that, barbed head? Oh no, no, it's nothing. Very well then. Let us get this investigation over with. We mustn't stay here in the inner sanctum a moment longer than necessary. Please don't rush me. I love that, like in the actual trial, 
Because I'm doing literally everything else, you literally are going to get pinned with the actual suspect that gets the breakdown, because it'll just be Phoenix and that guy that you do, basically. Yeah, it'd be great. It is not without reason that I insist on a speedy investigation, Barnhead. I am a direct descendant of the Holy Mother, you see, who guides the people of Karain. As such, I must not sully myself with the blood of battle that Lady Kira, Kira bears. The blood of battle. It's that big of a problem, why don't you head on down now? I won't do anything, I promise. No, lawyers are never to be trusted. Now, make haste, so that we may leave here soon. Oh, and one more thing. What now? Your victory the other day was but a stroke of fortune. But this time, my insights shall reveal the absolute truth. They're gonna help us this time, probably. So prepare yourself for a defeat most bitter, liar. I uh, will. Uh, now that I can get on with my investigation. As long as you know where we stand. I better hurry and poke around for clues before she changes her mind. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Boy, that looks blood. Whoa, this is blood. This is a statue of a warbot, the bird on which Lady Kira based her appearance. And all this blood is from the High Priest, huh? He no doubt embraced the statue in the hope that Lady Kira would save him from death. May his soul rest in peace. Considering the amount of blood, he must have been stabbed with considerable force. There's no way Maya would be strong enough to deliver such a blow. Hey, isn't this Lady Kira's robe? Oh, holy mother! Lady Kira's robe is... How the fuck did you not see that, you blind you not... idiot? Why was it just left there? And I feel, but we should leave it here to preserve the crime scene. You imbecile! This is the actual robe Lady Kira once wore. It is. What the heck is it made of? I mean, nothing should look this good after a few hundred years. Enough! If I say it's the actual robe, it is the actual robe. So it's not the actual robe. That foul murderer shall not get away with this. It is tough to see a piece of history sloppily tossed on the ground like this, though. It even looks like it's been mended a number of times. This robe kind of smells. How dare you insult such a sacred piece of clothing like that? No, I mean that it smells like incense. Oh, I see. The scent you detected is from the sacred incense used to purify Lady Kira's robe. I would consider that smelling. I fucking hate incense. Yeah. Some incense is alright, but a lot of it's pretty stinky. There's, like, when I said that I don't get headaches from much, incense is like the exception. Incense will actually give me a headache. Yeah, some smells of it are okay, but like a lot of it, it's... Because, I mean, it isn't just the scent. You are also inhaling smoke when you are uh, smelling incense. Like, when I live nearish to a pig farm, and that doesn't make my, uh... That doesn't give me a headache, or doesn't make me go, oh, God. No, incense is just like... Whenever a robe is to be performed, the robe is first scented with sacred incense. Uh, whenever a robe is to be performed... I love when robes yeah, whenever are a robe will be performed, that's correct. And this still smells like incense now. The scent must have been much stronger than last night when the victim was killed. It's probably, like, I, I would have fucking stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> All that incense, Jesus Christ. It's been stained red by the High Priest's blood. The spring shall run red upon Lady Kira's return. What's that from? An old legend? Wait, does that mean... That the rebel hunting Lady Kira in the newspaper is the real deal? Nah, that's crazy talk. For some reason, I keep looking at something in the top left of the screen that looks like Mario. I know it's not, but somehow, like, the flags and, like, the weird background, I just keep, like, for a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a second, I keep seeing, wahoo! But it's wahoo! not. It's fucking flags. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> it's a lantern, hmm? And it's still lit. Of course it is. The sacred flames and the four lanterns here have burned for centuries. Anyone who extinguishes even one of them will be put to death immediately. Yes, yeah, so that's why they're fitted with glass wind guards. Otherwise, we have to put the wind to death. Ugh. How much 
fuel do these fucking things take? <laughs> um, probably not much. They're probably a little light, so you can probably just come up here with someone and just refill the oil. It wouldn't be I that guess. hard. You would need yeah, a... but I mean, for centuries. I mean, they've consumed quite a bit over centuries. Oh, sure, but I'm sure they could just kill a couple whales and call it a day. There's plenty of whales in California, USA. Of course. So I better keep my distance just in case. So the moon and these lanterns were the only sources of light up here at that night? The rite is performed by the light of the full moon because moonlight is a purifying force. I see. No touching. At the moon? I wasn't going to. Well, the, the lantern. Oh, okay. Bye. Oh, well, that's suspicious. Oh. A bloodstained scrap of paper. Looks like it's some kind of note or letter, perhaps. But it's written in current ease, so I can't read a lick. Let me see that. Once the flame is lit, then... will be this is simply impossible to read wait funnily enough in trial three uh pearly got a note that said something like once the flame is lit so yada 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 and what this does by the way this is every fucking note you get in any D, &D campaign ever right here yeah it's totally it's just like so half covered in blood or half splotched out or half crossed out impossible that you get a fucking intact note <laughs> wasn't it nice of me in chapter two of, uh, you gave an entire Russell. goddamn diary. I gave diary. a fucking diary journal with the whole thing etched out. And then even Emily was just like, this isn't correct. This shouldn't exist. This, like, what? And she fucking burns it. Yeah, he burned it. He didn't even read the whole fucking thing before <laughs> burning it, mind you. It's like, this is too incorrect. This is not how stories are supposed to go. I'm not supposed to know any of this information. <laughs> I mean, she read most of it. Come on. But yeah, still. Yeah. The stamp in the lower right. It's the dragon. <laughs> wow, I read that wrong. <laughs> I saw the dragons. Anyway. It's the mark of those insurgents, the defiant dragons. The dragons wrote it. The dragons wrote it. I mean, they did, actually. They did, it's accurate. The rebel group, what's it doing here? <clears throat> so some kind of connection between the high priest and the rebels? That honestly feels like a plant, though. Possibly. It, it, could looks, be the it looks more like a piece of paper to me. I don't know. Well, you you know what I mean. Like, it feels like whoever's the actual suspect put that there to make it. Oh, the rebels did it. If if Maya didn't, the rebels did. Yeah. Looks like that about does it for this area. Uh, the whole area? Okay, no, a bit more. This mountain face is like a towering wall. There are characters carved into it, but I have no idea what they mean. There is a prison at the apex of this mountain. The prison is right above the fucking holy shrine? A prison what? way up there? It is said that Lady Kira laid those she defeated to rest atop this mountain. It's a different mountain. It's like more of a spiritual prison. Mm. So that their souls would not spawn evil spirits. I'm feeling queasy just thinking about being all the way up there. And the fact that it's a prison just makes it that much worse. So I guess, yeah, it's like a soul prison, not the prison we saw in the intro. I don't know. I feel like a mountain prison would be pretty interesting. Oh, it would be interesting. Like, prisons just... are always, like, low to the ground. Maybe mountain air would well, be good for prisoners. Well, they don't... The reason why you don't put a prison up on a mountain is for a number of reasons. Uh, it's much more expensive to keep a fucking prison on a mountain. It's much more uh, expensive to keep anything on a mountain. Like, you put anything up there. The guards would take forever to get up there and They'll, come They'd back have to, that. like, sleep up there. You'd have much. to, yeah, you'd have, have to have, have guards pretty much live on prison. And it's like... Well, they they it's... got Alcatraz to work, and that was on, like, a boat. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, it's just such an inconvenience to have one up there. It makes yeah. it so that if anybody does escape, it's a pain in the ass to get out. Although, if Hiding they do get the, the fuck out... would be... The thing is, is that if they fucking got out, it'd be hard to catch them. Yeah. Honestly, because it, fucking trying to catch somebody on a mountain, that sounds infuriating. <laughs> what an amazing wall painting. So this is Lady Kira. You see that red mark upon her brow? 
That is the character for death in Kurainis. It is a mask of resolve to fight to the end. There are many different marks we make on our bodies, each with a different meaning. Pay attention to that mark. The mask is going to have a different mark on it. <laughs> Possibly. Hmm. Interesting. Couldn't think of it. Your benevolence has some marks on your face. So did the high priest. The high priest's marks are those of a monk, while mine are those of a royal princess. They look identical. Well, no, they don't. She doesn't have a fucking Hades symbol on in her forehead. Oh, that. Oh, I thought it was just, like, the dot. No, and she's she's got the dot, but she also has the things under her eyes. They're different oh, symbols. Okay, she's I got see. Different gotcha, things. gotcha, gotcha. All the members of the Karanese clergy have such marks upon them. The shape and location of the marks vary in accordance to conditions like status and age. And all records about them are kept at Temple Temple. So it's kind of like a national ID registry, huh? Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't know. Is that a weapon in your hand? Yes, it is Lady Kira's dagger. The very one used in the right. It is made to resemble a war bod. The lady... The, the lady bird Kira fashioned herself after. I just keep it imagining D. He's still over here with a knife. It's like, yeah. That so dagger, dagger looks nothing like that. That bird. looks like our high priestess's life. If you wish to know more about Lady Kira, you need but ask. I get the feeling she's going to be super relevant to this case. I should definitely ask the princess for more details later. It's hard to see the knife. Nothing about the crack was mentioned. Oh, wait a minute. The other torch. Oh, because it's broken. The other one looks broken. But it's hard to make out the details from this angle. I'll take a closer look while I'm in a better spot. What? Oh, I can change oh, my camera. Oh, that's angle. just giving you a hint that you can exam. Oh, no. You can rotate. Seriously? Phoenix, are you yeah. blind? Can we rotate again to a better angle? I don't know. During the raid, the inner sanctum was uh, enclosed by this ritual curtain, making the case something of a locked room mystery. Yay. Yay. Well, as, uh, as Nato told us, there's only four solutions to a locked room mystery. Uh -huh. Or was that not Nato? That might have been, uh... That might have been, what's her name, Kyoko. I don't remember. One or the other. The purification rite is akin to a bathing ritual for Lady Kira. Therefore, it must be closed off from the outside world. Oh, so the inner sanctum is like her private bathroom. Indeed. So see to it that you keep it clean. Well, this is her private bathroom, but just down the stairs, you know. Wink, yeah. wink. This slap in the center acts as the ritual curtain's door, but uh, that's about it. And what was that shrill scream for now? Just now? It's for? just I'm afraid of heights. I didn't notice it was when I was climbing up, but now that I see all the way down, I guess that flight of stairs in the Plaza Devotion really is the only way up or down. Hmm. There's something hanging off the ritual curtains there. Look like the prayer flags down in the Plaza Devotion. Except there are arranged like no prayer flags I have ever seen. How so? All these flags have been sewn together. Hey, you're right. It's like they're one big banner now. Was it used as a parachute? Maybe. I don't even know. That would be really fucking hard. Parachute. At first when I saw that, I thought it was like a bundle and that was like a rope. Like, you know. Standard fare, like, prison. I guess clothes. that would work, but it's fucking paper. Yeah. Well, no, they're cloth, I think. I don't think they're paper. Oh, yeah, they are cloth. So there's some written on a piece of it. Donated by Trust in Me. It seems this piece from a donation Abbot in me made at some point. Huh. Okay.
Maybe now. That's that's a worse angle. I think I better go take a closer look. All right, Phoenix, you're just fucking with me now. I see how it is. This Leonard is damaged. Wingard's completely broken. Damaged? Was this your doing? No, I didn't even touch it. <laughs> and perhaps a falling rock struck it. I will request that it be repaired when we are finished here. Of course, I doubt you will live long enough to see it restored. I'll be back to take a look. You'll see. Bitch. <laughs> There's no snow here. Phoenix, I'm gonna fucking hit you. Oh, oh, you mean there. Okay, gotcha. It was removed because it would interfere with the right. I love that you interpreted that as Phoenix saying, Wow, this mountaintop sure doesn't have any snow, huh? <laughs> I was like, Phoenix, what are you talking about? <laughs> How the fuck did you interpret it that way? <laughs> Listen. There was the same, like, thing in Trial 5 of the third <laughs> game. Where it's like, it was like, this thing has, like, no snow on it. It's like a small little thing of no snow and everywhere else it's just snow, snow, snow. It's just an odd statement. You could say something like, hey, there's no snow. Like, it looks like the snow's been dug in this area. Yeah, like, the snow's been shoveled here. But, like, I don't know. It's still... Yeah. I don't know. They before the right, the temperature in this area plunged below freezing. Even the Plaza Devotion was covered in a thin layer of white frost. Must be the elevation. It wasn't all that cold back in town, as I recall. Snow has obviously been cleared away from here, and the lantern's broken. So have the camera I bought to take pictures of my trip. I should snap one of this from this area here, just in case. Oh. Thanks, Phoenix. Dickhead. Nothing else particularly interesting here. And what the hell is that? This rock must have fallen from higher up on the mountain. So I get the perfect perch for taking a peek over the curtain. Well, off I go. Wow, what an incredible view. It almost boggles the mind. Down from there, this instant. Right, sorry, I'll be down. Looks like the inner sanctum is just slightly higher on the top of the mountain. I guess that confirms that the stairs from the Plaza Devotion is the only way up here. Well, they sure do hammer in that point. They sure do hammer in that point so it can be proven wrong later that there's another way up. <laughs> it's a statue of a bird. I should take a closer look later. As in now, I guess. Yeah, I guess now. He did say later, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. I guess later is now. Look, the bird's missing its eye. I feel sorry for the poor fella. Are you the one that took it? Of course not. <laughs> this statue has been here for ages. I suppose some damage to it is to be expected. I should ask my mother to have it repaired. No wonder there are no lawyers left. If I leave too, it would. I'd leave too if it was always treated like this. But I don't think I'll find anything else of interest around here. This one tiny area is just fucking packed with shit. <laughs> I can imagine how infuriating this could be if, like, you miss just one thing. Oh, you mean, like, right now? Yeah. You know how they haven't told you to leave yet? <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact. Oh, you have to talk to Rafa still. There was a whole thing where you have to talk to her again. I guess. I guess that counts. Uh, it I guess could we're looking be at the rock again. Something. That's not to say there isn't something else to investigate. It's just that's one of the things you have to do before you're allowed to leave. All right, let's talk. Could you tell me about this place, Your Highness? Your benevolence, whatever the fuck your name is? I have Could nothing you know? to say to you, lawyer. Is that because you don't actually know much about it? Oof. Oof. You ill-mannered. I am the Crown Princess of Corain. There is nothing I do not know. Nina. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Summon the fucking aid. Whoa, where'd she come from? Hey, no cheating. 
silence, barbed head. Nana's knowledge is my knowledge. End of discussion. What is she, your pocket internet? At? This spring is where Lady Kira came to cleanse her body of the blood of battle. And today's purification rite is a ceremony that traces its origins back to those days. Cleansing Lady Kira's robe in this sacred water tends, lends one courage to the next battle. I see. Thank you for that excellent explanation. Whatever Commoners. Na Naina. Well, Thanks she's Rafa. That's Naina. Naina. <laughs> Commoners are normally barred from here, except for the Day of the Right. Who normally controls the access to this place? The High Priest and his family are responsible for that. The High Priest and his family, huh? Could you tell me about the High Priest and his family? Abbot Inmi has lived with his wife and his disciple, Accolade Pude Zealot. That's the guy. A young man... Uh, a young man the couple took into their home upon finding him near our kingdom's border. Speaking of his wife, isn't she the one who usually plays the role of Lady Kira? Yes, but as she was with child, the role was appointed to somebody else. Is she with a child who just recently got burned? Or a... burned? Born? Well, or a, uh... She I pregnant? think she's still pregnant. Okay. But, I don't know. The killer no doubt offered to stand in, as she saw it a chance to slay the high priest. No, he had it backwards. He was the one who asked Maya to stand in. Then that braggart must have embellished her qualifications. I'm really not sure how she could. Besides, why didn't you stand in for the high priestess's wife, then? Priest's wife. Not Did I not tell wife. you before? Sadly, this is not a gay uh, village. Or it's mm. not, like, gay priest. As a direct descendant of the Holy Mother, the role of Lady Kira is forbidden to me. For those descended of her holiness must not defile their bodies with the blood of battle. Oh, yeah. You did say that, didn't you? Should probably talk with the high priest's wife and acolyte sell it later, then. Yeah, so, um, could you tell me about this Lady Kira? As an outsider, I suppose your ignorance is all but unavoidable. Yeah, whatever happened to you, you need to ask. You need but ask. Nina. Thank you, Nana. So, goodbye, Nana. <laughs> Lady Kira was the Holy Mother's younger sister. But unlike her older sister, she lacked the ability to channel spirits. However, it is said that none could equal her skill with the dagger. A dagger? Well, this has become relevant fast. The Holy Mother guides our souls, and Lady Kira keeps the peace with her dagger. Oh, so it can't be Maya because Maya can channel spirits, and she can't do shit with a dagger. <laughs> Lady Kira is prepared to die for her people. She cloaked herself in a sacred battle robe and concealed her face as her sister did. Okay, but who was she fighting against? Throughout our history, we have been set upon by rebels. Now is no different. Our enemy now is the Defiant Dragons, led by the Insurgent Dirk. Of course he has a red eye. Of course he does. <laughs> d d I mean, come on, look at that guy. <laughs> so I had to care played a role akin to the police, huh? So what's with the bird imagery? Lady Kira's robe is fashioned in the likeness of, the, of a war bod. It is a fearsome bird that is unique to Karayim. Ah, I see. And what about the recent uh, rebel hunter lady, Kira? Who do you think that is? Yeah, that dagger's not curved. That's well, I know. pretty straight dagger. Well, I know, but I'm just saying that I thought it was in the uh, intro cinematic, but I, I'm probably The dagger's wrong. described as curved. Is it? Yes, it sure is. At some point. Somewhere. Because even in like tap that tapestry up on the wall, that's a straight dagger on the wall. So I don't know. It's somewhere around here. It's 
more about Dire. It doesn't say anything about Curved there. It said it somewhere. I don't know. I swear, like, that's what I thought happened, but I don't think I I've remember seen all it mentioned. mentioning it, that it was a curved dagger. I was I like, oh, yeah, it's edgy. Of course, it's fucking, like, a little lemon dagger. Well, that's exactly what I'm picturing, too. Like, when I think of it, that's what sword, I'm picturing it. A dagger. That's what I'm picturing it as from, like, that intro cinematic. I swear to God, I remember, like, a lightning bolt shaped, like a fucking yeah. lemon sword. But, anyway. However, I believe her to be a vigilante, or more precisely, a patriot. So even Princess Rafa doesn't know the true identity of the Rebel Hunter, huh? That about does it for the Inner Sanctum. Hmm. Should probably head back to the Plaza Devotion and let Emma know I'm done. After all, she's the only one putting her... She's the one putting her neck on the line for me to investigate this place. Anything yeah. else to say? Oh, any yeah. ideas? Any ideas? <laughs> the killer must have been the one they call Maya Fey. There can be no other. Well, you never know. It's still pretty early in the investigation. Plus, she's already been tried about four or five times, and every single time, I've gotten her off. Man, I swear that Maya could actually get away with murder at this point. <laughs> Just by the good grace of the fact that, holy shit, you've been a suspect so many times, it's not been you. If Phoenix has done a, a bang-up job... It couldn't possibly be you. Like, surely at the sixth time that it happens, they go, all right, probably not you. Okay, but the judge <laughs> has, like, peanut memory, so, you know, it's yeah. not a problem. The judge probably doesn't even remember who Maya is most of the time. <laughs> he actually does have pretty decent memory, though, sometimes. Like, even unironically, he does seem to recall shit. Yeah. He's like, oh, <laughs> yes, I seem to recall that case from 15 years ago. DL6, wasn't it? Like, how the oh, fuck yes, do you remember, remember this, Your Honor? I remember that case. I take multiple cases a day. This isn't my only fucking case, by the way. Anyway. <laughs> she spent time in the company of lawyers, so she must have a wicked soul. Thanks for reminding me how much people like, her, like me are hated in this country. It is only by the Holy Mother's mercy that you are allowed to investigate this sacred place. Remember that, and give thanks to Her Holiness for this great blessing. For once, or whatever. Um, yeah, thank you, your holy motherness. Or that didn't come out right. That seemed a little insincere. Shall we halt this investigation immediately? No, wait, I'm grateful, really. <laughs> I wonder. Uh, this is gonna be worse than walking on holy eggshells. Well, are you going to conduct your investigation or not? I will, it's just... Are you going to keep following me around like this? Of course, unless you intend to do something you feel the need to hide. No, everything I do is by the book. Except that one time I submitted forged evidence, and the other time I submitted forged evidence. Then get on with it. I am not doing this for fun, you know. I, too, have many duties I need to attend to. Then why don't you go do them instead of hovering over me? Hmm? What is that look you are giving me? Am I perhaps being bothersome? Oh, hey, you noticed. No, don't be absurd. You're being incredibly bothersome. Hmm. Read this. No, not today. Not today, Satan. No. No! No, she didn't care about any of this shit. Oh, because she already gave her feedback anytime you looked at any of them. Okay, down the mountain. No, buddy. Alright. Hey, Emma. This is where we're, we're back. <laughs> Back well, we might actually talk to Zealot here. No, but he's still praying. I don't know. Oh, they're still praying. The religious devotion of our people is the pride of our kingdom. Come with me. We will continue to pray until tomorrow afternoon. Well, I will say this. This level of devotion is certainly to be respected. Now to find Emma. There she is. 
Ah, there, there she is, <sighs> sexy beast. Wait, I want to ask you something. Uh, okay. Do, do you know me? Do I know you? Um, well, I'm Phoenix. Phoenix Wright. I'm a lawyer. No, no, no. I want to know if you know who I am. Huh? How should I know? I've never seen you before. This guy's acting real strange. I wonder if he has amnesia or something. I should talk to him a little more just in case he's connected to this case somehow. Phoenix, this is a, this is a very dumb idea, but okay. Dumb idea? Yes. <laughs> That's kind of a kind of a wackadoodle. I thought when Discord disconnected, all that was in Phoenix's text box was "ho, oh. oh. ho." Oh, my head. Are you okay? Did you remember something? My head. It's so itchy. <laughs> What's with this guy? It's clearly part of the resistance. Hey, there's Zealot again. I'm glad Zealot's still focused on his prayers. Is not such devotion worthy of commendation? Still, he has not yet learned of the High Priest's death. When I think of how he will... When I think of how he will learn of it once his prayers are over... Yeah, it does seem kind of cruel, doesn't it? He ought to... I, I feel like he's... Because if I want to think about it, somebody in the house knew about it was going to happen. Who could have gotten past the gate? Somebody in that family is the ones who keep the gate. He's in that family. Yeah, nobody he didn't, there he was didn't come to start praying until later. Like, we Nobody's, noticed him walk up. Yeah, nobody was paying attention to him anyway. Because they're all so focused on prayer that they literally just don't notice anything. He could have gotten up and walked up there at any time. Nobody would have known. I don't know. I feel like it's him. But uh, we'll just see. To think I would witness a lawyer being allowed to pass through this sacred gate. Yeah, well, I wouldn't unless I had to. The stairs are brutal to climb. What's this? Do you even know how many monks would give their lives to pass through that gate? Be thankful for the great honor you've been afforded. Yes, your benevolence. They're still praying. Now that's really something. Look at the Pea River. Good lord, it's, it's gotten even bigger. It's called their absolute devotion to Lady Kira. Yeah. You can see the physical evidence of it. But you don't have to pray to her your benevolence. Our customs dictates that I must never go to the bathroom in such a public location. Please, please, actually don't. Jesus fucking Christ. She's don't fucking ever 14. do that. God, <laughs> yeah, she's 14. No, God, don't that please, no. Happened in the game. Oh my God, the art. No, no, not the art. No. <laughs> you fucking know what happened. All right. Yeah, yeah, the fucking internet would just be like, bull. Oh. <laughs> Our customs dictate that I must never associate with Lady Kira in any way. Good, thank you. Instead, it is my duty to offer my prayers and dance to the Holy Mother every day. Why don't you try offering up a dance or two? I think you'll find it quite uplifting. No thanks, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, who the hell are you? Um, are you having trouble remembering who you are, my dude? Uh, I'm sorry if I've offended you. Those are lizards. He's eating fucking lizards. He's eating lizards yeah. by the hundreds. The whole species is over. <laughs> it's you over. Just, you can just let him eat forever over here. What the fuck? How many lizards he got? <sighs> I thought he was going to pull a weapon on me. Well, he said he does seem to be part of the resistance. He's wearing their uniform, so... I think I'd eat a fried lizard. Be interesting. i need eat a fried lizard. Sounds alright. Probably tastes like chicken. But he's just pulling some snack one after another. I'm trying to remember who I'm supposed to do. I know it's something important. You know who this man. Do you know this man or something, Barb Dad? No, I've never seen him before, didn't I? I said I've never seen him before. Fuck. Are you Lady Kira? You know of Lady Kira? Then you are Kiranese, I take it. 
Maybe. What are those lizards he's eating? What, you want one? No thanks, I uh, I just ate. Oh, now I remember. Get a load of this. Garlic gun! Well. Well, what? I believe he suffers from a far more serious malady than mere memory loss. No good, huh? Guess I'll try something else. Somebody else. Somebody else. So, who was that man? And what did he want, Barbed Head? I wish I knew. <laughs> and this hey, is Albie. Hey, Mr. Wright! Back what now? Oh, that's not uh, Albie. <laughs> Emma's really good at doing other impressions. It's, she's insanely good. She can do any voice. What's wrong? I didn't surprise you that badly, did I? No, no, it's nothing. I'll be Emma. Actually, I've been looking for you. I wanted to tell you I've been investigating the crime scene. I hope it wasn't too much trouble getting my investigation of the Inner Sanctum approved. Oh, it was fine. Prosecutor Sodocene gave his okay straight away. Hmm. He seems like a rather fair-minded prosecutor. He said that you would probably give up once you saw the crime scene for yourself. And then moving on before the trial began would be the smart thing to do. I must be feeling really confident about this case, probably because he's an idiot. How how did that crime how would that crime scene make me think the case is a futile effort? Nothing about that incriminates Maya up there. There's not a single piece of evidence up there that makes me go, oh, it's Maya specifically. It's more the fact that nothing up there implicitly points to one other person other than Maya, because it was kind I of a close area. Yeah, I guess there's no evidence that points to anybody in specific, and if there's only two people there, then, it, you know, I guess. I'm sure it'll eventually point to somebody, but not yet. We'll just say, so you know, I have no intention of giving up. I figured. That's why I prepared a little gift for you. I thought it might help your investigation. Here. It's all yours. Loom it all. You're giving me your boyfriend? Emma. Wow, does this mean you're uh, back on the market? I wanted to bring you a bunch of other forensic tools, but they were confiscated at the airport. Wait. But they kept, you, they let you keep they let you, all? They let you keep Luminol, a bottle with a, wait a minute. <laughs> They didn't let you keep fingerprint powder. But they backwards ass logic. Luminol. They confiscated all my clothing, but they let me keep anything that could have been made into a bomb. It's what? uh it's a backwards airport. What the fuck? Luminal testing fluid. This might actually come in handy. Also, I'm gonna copy the crime scene photo for you. Also, what the fuck are you telling me they confiscate everything at the airport? You're carrying it on you. Thanks, all this will definitely come in handy. So this is what the high priest's body looked like after the murder. That's a... He looks, he, he looks like a fucking redead to me. That's a lot of mask? fucking blood. It is no, a lot of no. blood. Is that his face? That's his face. I mean, look at his face. His, his face is like... It looks... Yeah, but it looks a little different, I feel like. I don't know. I think I'm just crazy. But to me, he looks like he straight up has a redad's face from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Keep this along with the picture I took at the crime scene. Oh, yeah. They're done questioning Maya. Oh, good. Really, should I go pay her a visit then? Poor Maya. She must be feeling pretty lonely. I should let her know I'll be defending her, too. Oh, shoot. Look at the time. I have to get going. You sure seem busy. That's because his ephemeral holiness is a real slave driver. His ephemeral holiness? Prosecutor Sam Machine. He's like the world's hardest riddle wrapped in a flowy sash. Keep wondering if it's just a clash of cultures type of thing, you know? Like, he'll ask the most insane things of me without b batting a single long eyelash of his. His single, very long eyelashes of his. He's not that charming, I don't know. No. <laughs> huh, this prosecutor's same machine sounds like he's, he's, he's a 
used to holding some serious clout. Why do I have such bad luck with prosecutors? First, it was the glimmerous fop. And now that I'm finally rid of that Air grating, bling-loving aerophile, I get this guy. <laughs> Europhile, what a great... <laughs> No, now I'm really gonna be late. They'll probably make me listen to one of those really long sutras I can. I'll see you later. Also, sh you can't have good luck with uh, prosecutors, because every prosecutor is a fucking weirdo. Yeah, every single one of them is weird. Even Edgeworth is a little weird. Not as weird, but a little weird. <laughs> he makes her listen to sutras? Sounds like Emma's got it pretty rough, too. She does not appreciate Prosecutor Sad my sutras. What ingratitude. It appears that she, too, is lacking religious devotion. Yeah, well, not everyone, uh, you know, is just religious, so, uh, you know, butts to you. I don't think that's what the problem is here. Also, who would want to be in religion when you have to listen to this? And it's just the sound of, like, eight people taking a piss at the same time. It's like <laughs> shit sliding down the mountain. It's like, this is a very holy part. Now let's leave, because it smells like shit over here. <laughs> Besides, I'm Dude, I feel... Alright, it's fine and all, uh, for the people at the back, or... No, the people uh, up front. But the people in back have two people ahead of them. Oof. They're not allowed to move. Ugh. Terrible. That man we just met, he seemed quite suspicious to me. Don't tell me he's an acquaintance of yours. Not everyone who's suspicious is friends with me, a lawyer, or vice versa, you know. For example, I have many upstanding friends and acquaintances, like a chief prosecutor. Like that <laughs> chief prosecutor. Well, as long as your friends are free from the taint of corruption. They are. You know, everything is about good and evil. Are you going to speak with that woman? If you mean Maya, then yes. There's something I need to talk to her about. Something like a jailbreak? And how exactly could we do that with you and your guard watching over us like hawks with machine guns? Okay, do you want to look at this one? Just the same dialogue, though. Yeah. Mm, much richer. Yeah, yep. same thing. Yep, yep. Remember the moon and the petal. Metaphor. Hey, Maya. It's been a while. <coughs> I didn't notice the bars when she wasn't there, so in my head, they just added bars for her to be in there now. It's like, wow. Here we go again, huh, Phoenix? Nick, I knew you'd come. Hey, Maya. Sure is looking tired. How are you holding up? It wasn't me, but no one will believe me. Ugh. I have to admit, I'm still in a bit of shock. Who'd have thought you'd be caught up in something like this, and so far from home? But I'm gonna defend you, so hang in there. We can do this if we work together. And this is all my fault. I mean... You came to Karain just to visit me. We hadn't seen each other in ages, and then this happened. I haven't seen her, uh, this down in ages, either. Come on, remember who you're talking to. Besides, I thought you'd be used to seeing the usual suspect by now. <laughs> I'm being. <laughs> I guess you're right. You saved me each and every time. Yep, so just tell me everything you can, and let's go from there. Bartet, stop stalling and go straight to the matter of true and poor. We know she is the murderer, therefore it is time for her confession. Your benevolence, what brings the royal princess to a place like this? I am watching over this lawyer to keep him from tampering with anything in this case. Now, out with it. Confess to your crime. How does her hair do that, by the way? Like, I oh, guess it, like, it loops around and ties through, like, the white straps in her hair. That's I not guess. impossible. But, like, that, 
I've seen that hairstyle on people, actually. Yeah, but I guess what it could mean is, like, if you wanted to, you could just, like, pick her up by the hair strings and just, like, lift. If you were, like, well, strong you, enough. It would fucking, like, probably come out of shape. It's just being held by ribbons, Ross. Yeah. Please, your benevolence, could you please take it down a notch or three? <laughs> My, please tell me what you can. I know this must be difficult, but anything you can remember might help. Sure, okay. Hey, you want to see my printing badge? Oh, hey. Congrats on getting your badge back, Nick. Thanks, Maya. Now you can go back to the to a life of bold-facedly bluffing the day away every day. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not exactly why I returned to the courtroom, you know, Maya. Ixnay on the bluffing K. Hey, that's mine. Well, it was just sitting there in the temple's library, so I'll be sort of checked it out for me. Hope it comes in handy then. Oh, and by the way, the Maya Library of Guidebooks has a $2 a day donation policy. I guess all these entrepreneurial spirit is contagious. There you go, presenting things left and right again as always. Sure takes me back to the good old days. Ooh, ooh, present something else, Nick. Uh, if that's what you really want. At least it seems to cheer her up a bit. I did kill the high priest, I swear. Of course he didn't. And why should I believe the words of an accused? But I really, but I really did kill him. Did... All right, that's you. If you didn't believe me, then prepare to get an airfall. Or Nick. What? Right, get me out of this. There you go, son of a bitch. Whoop de doo. No. Mm -hmm. You know, it, this is gonna sound really, really weird, and I have no basis for why this happens for me. When I look at Maya's face, sometimes I think of McDonald's, and I could not, for the life of you, tell me for the life of me, tell you why. Just, no. just the company, burgers, or just like. The I don't know. I just get the concept of McDonald's. From well, Maya her. loves hamburgers. I, I, do, but I don't think it's that. It's like when she, um, what's the face? It's like when she's like happy and she's got like a smile on her face. I can't, not this face, obviously, but like, ah, uh, I don't know what it is. Something about the way her face looks. It reminds me, I guess, of like a McDonald's ad I saw at some point. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. Super weird. I have no basis I would for be why a spokesperson for McDonald's if it would give her an extra hamburger. Hmm. I didn't kill the high priest. I wouldn't even dream of it. I mean, he always treated me so well. Habit in me was an important figure with tons of duties, including training acolytes. He was really kind, even to a foreigner like me. He even invited me over to his house whenever I was, was between tra training sessions. Who would ever kill someone like that? He sounds like a really good person. I think I would have liked him. Mika Donalds. It's al that's almost the face. I don't even know that she does it in the games where she's 3D. I think it's only the 2D games that the face is done like proper. It's the one where she like leans herself back and like looks at the camera with a smile. Maybe. It, it is it's, it is like a head-on face. But she's, like, got a really big smile yeah. for it. Yeah. It was so much fun. I got, I got to enjoy meals with his family and everything. And his wife was a master of Karenia's cuisine. I'd never eaten better in my life. It's like they were a family and home away from home in the foreign land. They must have been a source of comfort, well, with her being in training all alone. What? Well, what? I can't completely deny the charge either. Huh? As I suspected, the snake has shown her true colors at last. Your benevolence, please shut the fuck up. I'm trying to figure out what really happened here. Mm. Mm. She's she's pretty a whole, a whole lot prettier than you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the uh, I love the dub. It's so good. So what do you mean you can't completely deny the charge? 
Well, during the purification right, I suddenly got really, really sleepy. The next thing I knew, Abbott in me was, you know. You suddenly got sleepy? So then you didn't actually see the higher priest get murdered. No, I didn't. But if I was possessed by some crazy spirit while I was asleep, then... Oh, this shit again? What an excuse. How dare you pin the crime on another person's soul? Mm. <laughs> Be honest. What you call training is but an extended vacation in reality. And that training here is simply for prestige. Uh, no, it's not like that at all. I'm trained to become the master of the curating channeling technique. Oof. A neophyte practitioner such as you becoming a channeling master? I think not. The spiritual power required to be is beyond the means of an outsider like you. Murphy seems to really hate fakers, you fake hedgehog. But Maya does actually have the power to channel spirits. I should let Rafa know. Your benevolence, I wouldn't call Maya a Nephonite, because... She can actually already ch Uh, wait, wait, Nick. What? Um, can I talk to you for a second? Why is she whispering all of a sudden? I want to keep my spirit channeling ability a secret while I'm here, Nick. What? Why? I'll, um, explain later. It would make the trial too easy. Just keep it a secret for now, okay? I mean, if you say so, that's what it's all about. What is all that whispering about over there? Oh, it's nothing, really, I promise. I have to ask you about this later when Princess Rafe is not around. Oh, I almost forgot. Nick? Hmm? On Abbott Inmi's murder, there was something I noticed that I thought was strange. Oh. So what was it you noticed? Well, you probably won't believe me, but... Why don't you let me be the judge of that? <sighs> okay, so, you know that spring? The spring? You mean the pool in front of the Wabad statue? Y yes that. The water in there was dark red. And when I say dark red, I mean blood red. Oh yeah, that. I saw that too. You did? Yeah, the high priest's blood turned it red. What? No, that's not what I mean. The spring was red before he was killed. Wait, what? Wait, so it was already red even before the high priest was killed? Yeah, I noticed it during the purification rite, just before I passed out. It's just like the ancient legend says. But I still love it. The spring shall run red upon Lady Kira's return. That's how it goes, anyway. Hold on. There, yes, there is a legend about the inner sanctum that says just that. But the water runs red this time thanks to the murder. The police investigating confirmed it. Perhaps your eyes were deceived by the lantern light reflecting off the water. Well, we shall know when we look through her uh, thingamabobber, won't we? I don't think that was it, though. An ancient legend, huh? What if it's connected to this murder somehow? Cool. Da 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 <laughs> yeah, this is also how I type my dialogue. <laughs> I just noticed. It's actually really funny. What's up with Maya? She keeps looking over her benevolence. Like she's worried with Rave will think. There's... There's something I want to show you. There is? I found this at the Inner Sanctum after I came to. And it wasn't confiscated? Yeah, glad it wasn't confiscated. Is this a letter? It's in Kuranese. See that stamped on the far left? 
the end of the letter? Does it look familiar? That's the thing that was on our forehead, I think. This red stamp here, that's the mark of Lady Kira. All right, it looks just like the mark on her forehead. Lady Kira, you say? Let me see that. Da 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 Why? This, this is... What? What does it say? <laughs> okay, now I can't unsee <laughs> it. I'm, <laughs> so, I'm just so sorry. What have I done? I've ruined the dialogue. Do not perform the right. I know what you are pointing, Lady Kira. That sounds like a threat or a warning. Whoever's pretending to be Lady Kira is pressuring the High Priest to stop the right. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, too. Nick, do you think... Wait, 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 wait. First, there's that ancient legend. The spring shall run red upon Lady Kira's return. Now, there's also Lady Kira's warning. Plus, with the Warbod's dagger being eyed as the murder weapon. Don't tell me. That's why she has to be the real deal. It gives me chills just thinking about it. I bet Lady Kira possessed the sacred robe or something. Yeah, spirit. Don't tell me. You actually believe that the real Lady Kira returned to kill the High Priest? Familiar premises. <laughs> don't be silly, Nick. Huh? Historical figures don't come back to life. I mean, give me a break. But, 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 you were saying all yesterday how it was more fun to believe that she's the real deal. Yeah, yesterday. I wish I could keep on entertaining that fantasy, too. But the truth is, we're dealing with a murder here. Thus, my days of dreaming have come to an end. Good lord, they're like competing. I'm gonna keep it real from now on. And you should too, Nick. Keeping it real with my uh, straight facts. Thought you said I was the boring one because I was keeping it real. Sorry, I guess I've outgrown that step ladder argument we always have. <laughs> I think you mean ladder, Maya. Keeping it real. So what do you mean by keeping it real? Oh, um, so you know how somebody's dressing up as Lady Kira and capturing rebels, right? Oh, you mean the rebel hunter Lady Kira in the papers? Yeah, that one. I think that's probably who sent this warning. What nonsense is this? You dare to suggest that Abbott in me was slain by Lady Kira? You, you nincompoop! Eek! The Rebel Hunter is sure to be a vigilante who loves this kingdom. And it is that patriotism that led the, to that cloak, their identity, and their guise the Lady Kira of them. Such a patriot would never slay the High Priest. Guess it's only natural for Princess Raven to see it that way, but I can't let it go of uh, that. Besides, what would have such a vigilante want to stop the purification right in the first place? Why would they want? I haven't figured that on out yet. I rest my case. Still, if this rebel hunter had a compelling enough reason, it might have killed the high priest after he ignored her last warning. You, uh, big dummy, you can't fool me. I was, it was you who forged that warning letter. I just realized who Brafa is. Ah, oh, fuck. I just realized I opened up the fucking Steam big picture mode. Yeah. Um, Ray, Ray, Ray was a Flostia. <laughs> A 14-year-old girl who's really angry at people, constantly shouts at you, but doesn't swear. Kinda is, yeah. <laughs> Except Wow, there's- know. I think there's some desync, by the way. The fucking- the text scroll happened before I heard the sound effect. That's so that's cute. good. Uh, you are trying to shed your guilt onto our most sacred lady, Kira. Admit it. Oh, that's some bad, some bad desync here. Give me a sec. All right, that should fix it. No, I never do such a thing. Yeah, it's much better. Now, now, your benevolence. Let's try not to remain. Let's try not to remain rational about this. Fucking want punches to her in the face. <laughs> Would not want to remain. Let's rational. try to remain rational. My, did you show this letter to the police? 
Um, no. You know they confiscated it. Yeah. I was afraid that I would anger everybody needlessly. So I was waiting to show it to you, Nick. And judging by our benevolence's reaction, I'd say Maya was right and they'd be worried. Hmm? Wait, what are your... There are numbers of the place of the letter where there are three holes in a row. Are you supposed to be some sort of message, too? Not that we'll be finding out anytime soon, I suspect. All right. All right, accused, wrap it up. I guess they have more questions for me. Yeah, at least I have a better idea of what we're up against now. Um, Nick, there's something I've been meaning to say. I don't need a lawyer this time. What are you talking about, you dumb dumb? It's just, you know, they have the Defense Culpability Act here in Karain, right? Well, if I'm found guilty, you'll be charged with abetting a criminal. Maya, thanks for thinking of me, but Don't worry, Maya. We'll pull through this together somehow. We always have, haven't we? Yeah, but we're not in Kansas anymore, you know? We were never in Kansas to begin well, with. Well, yeah. Never in Kansas, we're in California. And, you know, we're still in California. <laughs> True, but I've been through one trial here already. That's probably why this game doesn't take place in, like, any of the places that have existed before. Because they got tired of that bullshit. They're like, guys, we get it, okay? Sorry, the first game, for some stupid fucking reason, the localization changed it to America. We're sorry. We don't know why they did that. It ruined everything. We're sorry. We're putting him in Japan. You cannot argue it's California. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, clearly Japan. They've gone harder and harder with each game in the series. Even <laughs> when the first game had the steel fucking samurai, they still tried to argue it was America. <laughs> yeah, so I know what I'm getting myself into. We're gonna win this one no matter what. Because I believe in your innocence. Yeah, I, I know. We're always one because of your faith in me. That's right. So it's all aboard the Phoenix Freedom Express. Thank you, Nick. Well, I'll see. That's the face. Yeah. That one. The hands pressed together face. Nick when Donald's. she does the little head nod. Bravada will not save you tomorrow, and by then, it'll be too late to ask for mercy. We're gonna beat this charge. You'll see. <laughs> I don't care to understand every single word that was spoken, but I don't like the sound of that Phoenix Freedom Express one bit. Wait. Don't tell me you don't know what Freedom Express refers to. Ah! Uh, uh, of course I know. Do not presume to know what I do know and do not know. Nana. <laughs> Nana. No closer to understanding why someone who wants the High Priest is dead. But given the use of the Wabadad's dagger and the existence of the warning letter, I guess the rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira is the real prime suspect. Might help if I knew a little bit more about this modern-day Lady Kira. Wonder if anyone has any info on them. Hmm. Maybe the first thing I should do is go someplace where locals like to gather. I thought we were... I thought the investigation was like, yeah, we're done. And then yeah. you add another location. Nope. Nope, we ain't done yet. That woman you call Maya Faye is not to be trusted. <coughs> I hear she's already 28, and yet she's still as antsy as a maiden in her teens. Look at yourself. Surely she must be hiding something. Actually, that's just Maya being Maya. So what next? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Dare I ask? Admit the accused guilt so we can go straight to the inevitable guilt verdict. Yeah. That will solve everything. Why did I even ask? I think I'll just keep on investigating. I actually do think it's an alright time to uh, wrap up for this yep. session, though. That's probably pretty good. We got two hours in. Yeah. The <sighs> rest of the investigation will be pretty short, and then we can do, like, part one of the probably. trial. Yeah. I just, like, fucking doing girl voices for two hours uh, messes me up. <laughs> You have to go listen to uh, completely normal girl voices in Terraria. They go, oof, oof, oof. 
Yeah, but it's like, you know, I... Uh, I get tired, or, like, I'm not, like, tired, tired, but, like, uh, my lungs get fucking destroyed uh, when I'm doing voices, specifically. So. That's really funny, because uh, mine tend not to, unless I'm doing very to. specific voices that just, like, Hey, hey there, no dude, how you doing? Like, that one, that one fucking rips my throat Well, that Well, that's, the, the that's throat. I'm just talking about, like, I have really shitty lungs in general. <laughs> I guess, like, That's there are I... times where I start to get, like, the heart palpies when I do, like, a lot of really loud voicing yeah. in uh, FE. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it, like, ever gets picked up on recording, but, like, a lot of the time when we're, like, doing sessions and stuff, um, I'll, like, just, like, suddenly go, <gasps> like yeah. that. Yeah. As my fucking, like, lungs go, fuck! I'll, like, have a fucking, like, hard, hard breath, like... <gasps> Ever since I got this microphone that lets me, uh, mute by doing this, it's become a lot easier to just, uh, mute myself when I have, like, lung and cough problems. Uh -huh. But even then, not always. I still yeah. munch, munch, munch. In any case, we'll be back next time for more Phoenix Wright. Uh, Maya did it. Uh, she should stop lying to herself. There's actually a number of suspects to look at right now. It feels like it could be Zealot, but until he gets a fucking image, then he can't be. It could be yeah. the hairy guy, maybe. I don't know. Doesn't know anything about himself. I think that's just a reuse. That, that guy is probably a red herring. Who knows what he's doing. Is he in our profiles? If not, he's not even that important yet. Yeah, I could have told you that the investigation wasn't ready to crap up yet, because we only have 10 pieces of evidence. These later games have decided, no, you need about 15 to 20 before you start your first round. Yeah, but I don't even, like, mind that much. Like, if they just, like, you know, I don't mind them dumping evidence on us in the courtroom. Yeah, they do, and they do that. A lot of times they... they update evidence you already have instead of just giving you yeah. evidence. <clears throat> they don't... Yeah, because like even in the previous one, we really only got like three or four extra pieces of evidence yeah. um, in the courtroom. They like to like give you all the facts of the case ahead of time, so that theoretically, if you are a real, real, real smart cookie, maybe you can piece it together. Yeah, like Nico B, but he couldn't yeah, piece a, together that uh, he couldn't that piece together on the bone meat. The... He couldn't, and he also couldn't piece together a certain somebody would be in the DLC. Oh, yeah. It's true. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Say bye, Zooper. Oh, bye. Say the line, Zooper. Say the line, Zooper. Ah. <sighs> piss and shit, River. Yeah! <laughs>